considered a weaker pick, but you know, more specialized for Olsan. But we'll see. All right, but well, here we go. All right, already starting off with that down forward one. Okay, oof. That's hit. what I'm talking about. You can blow for blow. Yeah. Miguel is can beat Kazumi, but it's just about Kazumi can definitely control Miguel a lot better. Mm. Okay, just outside of rage now. A terrible place to be. Okay. Gets it. Oh, oh. nice whiff punish on the first hit of the back two two. Yeah, I mean, well, Sign is just very, very quick. He's uh, he's just uh, he's got all, all his points are, uh, are blocked into speed. Um, okay, there we go. Big running. Ooh, went for the grab, but Sefi went for the hop kick. All oh, right. Oh, and again, this magic four. Sefi is gonna have to just kind of work on his timing here a bit. We're, we're seeing two magic fours already from Ulsan that have worked out really well. Yeah, 11 frame magic four. Great keep out tool for Sefi Black if he's too aggressive with the Miguel. Mm hmm. Okay, transitioning to the infinite stage. Ulsan yet to drop around here in this set. Sefi trying to get something going, but the flash punch combo, the 1 1 2 from Olsan pushing him back out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's looking a lot for that flash punch. You can see there the jab just uh, constantly reaching. Doesn't want to let Sefi Black do any of the, the big moves that he likes to do. Yeah, sounds weird though. And Olsan not moving as much as you expect. He's playing against this Miguel like one backdash away, just outside of Miguel's jab range. Ooh, ooh our second running two. Okay. Looking real strong, but Sefi has rage. Yeah, he Olsan can has to be right. careful. And now we're seeing the Olsan movement yeah. that I expect. <laughs> oh, spends the rage drive, first hit whiffing. Nine seconds left. Sefi's got to make something happen. Ooh. What a flash duck <laughs> whiff punish. And three rounds straight, like you said, Olsan taking game one. Yeah. Uh not conceding around. I mean, we're we're seeing a lot of three O's here today. I mean, this top eight is uh, is uh, is getting wild. I mean, okay, I like this. Uh, as we were talking about earlier on, um, and we saw Seppi coaching Tetsu in uh, in a previous game today. Tetsu straight back up uh, and coaching uh, his uh, his friend and traveling partner Seppi Black here. Old sign. Um, so reaching inward for his coaching. I mean, <laughs> he just uh, he did a, a very, very solid 3-0 there. Now, what do you think the difference would have been if he had picked Bob in that last matchup? I think the Bob, he would have ended up being a little bit more of the aggressor, and then Sefi would have gotten potentially more counter hit opportunities. Like I said, the Kazumi, you can play this slow pace, just pick at him, control the Miguel. And I really liked Olsan, just one backdash range. You know, Miguel jab, it's a little bit of a meme, but doesn't, it's stubbier than you think it is. Yeah. So just that one backdash range, you can sit there, you know, control them with the down forward one. We saw the magic four come out a couple of times as well, the counter yeah. hit, so. Okay. All right, back in now. Sefi, what can you do? Still up on the winner's side of the bracket, so, uh, you know, uh, not out uh, uh, if uh, Sefi drops this game here, but uh, definitely kind of wants to Ooh. sit. Uh, sit up there in uh, in the winner's side of the bracket. Has that extra life to lean on. Ooh, counter hit, but they trade. Not a great look for Sefi right now. That was like his one big opportunity. Oh, he's... Nice punish though, evening it up. Oh, oh, found the rage drive and just keeping it simple, ending it with the tiger. Okay, four rounds in a row, Ulsan. Are we about to see another crystal clean sweep? No. Magic four from Sefi this time though. Break it, yes. Get the unscaled ender. Mm. Now Olsan with a li big life deficit. Now he has to be the aggressor and potentially Sefi can get some more counter hits of his own. Yeah, uh, Kazumi definitely one of the characters very difficult to make a comeback with. And yeah. she doesn't have any of those big moves um, that can take your opponent off. Yeah. You just have to pick them apart. Yeah, her only like knockdown sweep is at her for flying stance. Yeah. So it's a little bit telegraphed. Great whiff punish from Sefi Black. Has the wall control. And one to one on rounds now in game two.
Yeah, Sefi breaks up that momentum entirely there with that round. That was uh, him very much in control. I think uh, he's now realized uh, what he needs to do um, in this game. You know, take that early Ooh, life. Double side step with punish from Olsan. Double back dash, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Ooh, kick her in the head. Ooh, punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the second wall. He still has a screw. Wait, all the oh, way up. Just oh. short. Unfortunate. Would have been some Reddit stuff right there. Nice duck. Rage drive on deck again. Blocks it this time. Seppi still has his rage. Oh, he interrupted. Wow. What a reaction. <laughs> That's, that boy is quick, man. His skill tree is all on that speed side, man. Yeah, and all on now match point here. One round away from moving on to winner's bracket. The face's teammate, CBM. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, a little bit more patience now. Yeah. But uh, all trying to trying to starve him out. Not giving many big opportunities. Seppi got some good counter hits in the last few rounds, but finishing the flash punch combo, getting the launch punish. Can't reach the wall here, but we'll push. Really close. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Just about even on lighting. Yeah. Um, oh, old Sam will definitely make sure work of that with a single launch. Ooh. But look at Seppi here. What a block. Block the second one. Rage now again. Similar situation to the last few rounds. Locks it. Seven seconds though. Olsen has to make something happen. Three. It's the dog job. job. <laughs> Three seconds left on the clock here. Sefi Black one round away from equalizing the game and also one round away from taking the set. Running two, finds its mark, steps on him. Counter hit from Sefi Black. This is going to be good damage. Going to run up on him for Oki. Hatchet kick. Ooh, but the running two finds its mark, evens it up again. These guys, the life bars have been so close throughout these rounds. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely a very, very even matchup here. Oh, counter oh. hit standing four. We should get the wall here. Fly three. Is he dead? That's not He's it. He's dead. dead. <laughs> wow. I mean, Olsan, that, it's, it, I feel like if that went to, uh, if that was a longer set, Sefi would have been in a much better chance there. He was starting to work out Olsan's timing and that sort of stuff. And we could see it there, getting to the final round of, uh, of game two there. Even though Olsan took that 2-0, I don't feel like that tells the full story there. Um, really, really, really uh, solid play out of both players. Yeah, like you said, Sefi was starting to uh, figure out the rounds were closer in the second game, but just Olsan, the speed, the tempo that he was playing at, just finding the interrupts, the, mm. the, the block punishes, and the counter hits with that, especially that magic four at the very end counter hit. Just enough damage, perfect combo. Yeah. And now we're gonna have a, uh, a CDF winner's finals with CBM and Olsan. Wow. Um, it's yeah. a definitely a happy uh, yeah. office right there now <laughs> in CDF uh, sitting there. But let's, uh, let's break down this game here again um, because in game one there, there was there was very little that uh, Sefi Black could do. I mean, I don't even know what uh, what you think about here uh, going into game two because this was so clearly Ulsan and it just looked next to impossible to break his defense down. How did he do it? Like, I mean, do we have any theories here? I mean, just Sefi just being able to find the opportunities better, just not uh, being so aggressive with his offense in the second game, not giving Olsan m that many opportunities to control him, but just the reactions on Olsan. I know Kawis mentioned yesterday that, uh, that Miguel Rage Drive, just one backdash can be so easy to make the first hit with, and if you're ready to make it with, you see the interrupt right there. And then right here, the counter hit standing four, perfect damage right there to end it. And Olsan punches his ticket to winner's finals. But now we're going to go to the loser's side of the bracket where we're going to get Grolanda versus that man right there, Chanel. Yeah. Um, this is... Uh, so, Grolanda has been uh, 
like uh, a sort of a constant force in the uh, in the Tekken world for a long time. Um, he's definitely stepped up as of recently. Had a really really good showing at the last year's Tekken World Tour finals in Amsterdam as well. Had that sort of I I, I want to say breakout performance, but it's not a breakout. I mean he's been around for so long, mm -hmm. um, but uh, has has just been kind of stuck very clearly in the world's like like brain after that showing there. Um, but uh, you know, it's Chanel. He's he's one of the one of.